Want your digital photos to actually look like film, not the fake overly faded grainy photos that you see. I'm talking real like film colors, tones, and texture. Here's the thing, it only takes one click. Well, actually a few clicks, but it's not as hard as you think. We're actually going to be using profiles, not presets. And yes, there is a big difference. A quick comparison, presets change your sliders, Exposure, contrast, HSL, all of that. Profiles actually change the way your raw file is interpreted before any sliders get involved. And we're using the Archetype profiles. This video isn't sponsored. I just genuinely love how these profiles have brought a whole new depth into my image. So let's hop in on editing. Now in this shot, we are using Portrait 800 Naritsu Normal Exposure Zero. Sometimes these profiles do make the images darker, but that's okay because we can just bring the exposure back up. Obviously that's a little too much and a lot of film handles highlights extremely well. So I will bring the highlights down just to make sure that nothing is completely blown out. I typically overexpose my film by one stop. So I make sure that these shadows still have enough information to play around with, but you still get very rich shadows. This is your clarity and texture, and a lot of vintage lenses tend to be a bit soft, which is why I like negative 20. A little bit goes a long way. Texture at negative five. With vibrance, I'll bring it to about 25 and bring this down. We don't want it to look completely toy-like. Next is your tone curve. You can copy this tone curve that I've created here because a lot of film does have that faded look. I've brought the blacks and the shadows up quite a bit here. Next is our color mixer. Colors are popping a little too much for my liking. So I've come into the blues. I'm actually gonna bring the saturation just a bit up because blue can be quite a uh, predominant color in film, in the orange and the greens. Those are the majority of these colors here that are being affected and what I use on my presets. Now color grading is kind of like your look. As you can see, it looks pretty cold, very blue, and this just brings in a bit of warmth into the image. Next is your detail with vintage lenses and film. You're not gonna have that sharp of an image, so you're gonna wanna bring that down, not all the way, but 20 will do just fine. Of course, everyone's favorite, grain. As you can see, I've set this at 35, and I think 35 is perfect, because people tend to overkill on the grain. And then with some of the older lenses, uh, we tend to get this vignette that happens around the edges. And honestly, it holds up. Just remember, a little bit goes a long way. There's really no right way to do it in my opinion, but using the right tools do give you way more control and realism, even if it means a little upfront cost. Still beats the soaring prices of actual film. But what do you think? Can we fully copy the look and feel of film on our digital point and shoots? I've dropped the preset using one of my favorite archetype profiles right in the description. Do note you have to purchase the profiles for this preset to work. Now that you've got the film look down in Lightroom, what digital camera should you shoot with? In this next video, I break down the best digital cameras for emulating film. 